Hey, yeah, it's Sarah, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so we're continuing our adventure with Horizon Forbidden West. I freaking love this game. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just so excited. It seems like only yesterday we started with Horizon Zero Dawn, and now we're playing the sequel. How lucky am I, or that I didn't have to wait that long? <laughs> but I'm, ex I mean, like. Okay, so this episode, I want to be focusing on the. I'm gonna be focusing on the side missions, and just clearing out the first area. And then in the next episode, I plan to play the story or the storyline of the playthrough. Uh, I mean, this world is just so freaking beautiful. Like, I want to just explore every nook and cranny that it has to offer. But of course, no spoilers. As always, please do not spoil the game for me because I just don't, I want to be able to enjoy this. So yeah, anyway, with that said, let's get started with Horizon Forbidden West. The trick also reminder is worried about the rest of his crew. Talk to him. Oh. Let's go here first. Go to the mine. You know what? The animation canceling it really opens up a world of possibilities. I mean, a lot of you guys probably already saw this, but okay, let me show you what I mean. Just so you guys understand me. So you can jump, hit R1, and then R2 really quickly. If you do it right, I mean, you could get that second R2 hit, and that's gonna be useful in a battle. I mean, a lot of you guys already mentioned that in the comment section, so thank you for that. Also, you can charge up your spear, and what I do... With the, uh, using the animation canceling is that I press R2 and L1 because L1 cancels the, um, the charge and it's much faster that way as opposed to just pressing the R2 the entire time like R2 L1 R2 L1 R2 L1 <laughs> see that guys see what I was doing? Like, I was charging it up, like, while I was rolling as well. Uh-oh. See? Or like L1. So like sometimes you could just do a combination of roll and charge. Roll and charge and L1. I mean, it just helps so much with battles. Shit. Uh 
Nice, I think we're done. I think there's somewhere anyways, we're good. Where'd my mouth go? Where's my horse? Oh, I lost my horse. Anyways, let's charge up. Roll, charge. Roll, charge. Roll, charge. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, shut up. Okay, I see what I was doing wrong now with the jump offs. Basically, Aloy jumps to whatever direction you point the stick. So you just have to make sure you have it pointed in the right direction when you do it so that, you know, it works in your. Oh, what's that? Oh, people. Anyway, here's my mount. What was it doing all the way out here? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Using the ballet for me. Uh-oh, he mad. Oh wait, no, this isn't him. Oh 
shit. Fuck. <laughs> We got it. Okay, let's go. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. Let's get this first. That looks like the there is. Mentioned. You good? I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? <gasps> Arnav sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Uh, oh my uh, god, that looks so good. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. Oh, that's a great leader. Uh, I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. I think he's two, spacing think. out. I hope he doesn't have two a concussion. More. I'll do what I can. Quick. Ew! The water's so dirty. I mean, that would make sense, though. We go up here. Oh, okay. Can't go up there. Oh, Hello? Can anyone hear me? Okay, got it. The miners. One of them doesn't look too good. Oh. Cool. Damn, that's some dirty water. I think I'm starting to see things. Is that? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... Uh-oh. I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started <gasps> flooding the place as quick as I drink uh... air. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. There'll still be some up top, uh... but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, <laughs> and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. 
Um, I actually can. I can make that drainage shaft. It's sky high. Hopefully, without bringing the mine down on top of me. Yeah. Like I, I mean, yeah. That's how I can make it worse. Exactly that. Top LP. Also makes me back. Top. Oh, it's okay. Kind of like any one. If you swim faster, will your thing drain faster? Oh shit. Oh my god. Wait, let me, let me... Let me do this again. This is some nasty water, by the way. Really nasty. <laughs> This is where my adventure would end if I was a like <laughs> I'm gonna get sick with water this dirty. Uh come on, let's go. Come on. Oh shucks. Let's go up, let's go up. There. <sighs> I'll dry off. Eventually. Oh. <sighs> Made it. Okay. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast with the blockage. I climb there. How do I get that loot? Maybe I can. Oh! Oh! oh I fell. Oh, wait, no. I, I think I can get up. Can I get up here? Oh, no, no, no. There's an X there on the. How can I jump there? I can't get up there. Probably for after the water level goes down. Maybe we're gonna interact with those. Oh shit! Oh! Uh, I'm drowning! There we go. There we go. Hmm. Get up! Die. Never mind. <laughs> I was just being a drama queen. I'm honestly just exploring the map right now because I'm a mermaid. <laughs> I love that. Music to my ears. Exploring cauldrons might teach me how to make magic sense. Nice. Is there more? Oh, there's a more. My silent strike. What's this? That looks like a fungi. Ugh. Ugh. I hate the spots. It's making my neck feel bad. <laughs> Oh, shit! That's all of them. 
I, I thought it would was see me for some reason with I was I up. See if they lead to the explosives. I need to find a way up to those explosives. I really don't like those fungi looking things. They they make my skin crawl. Hmm, here we go. Let's see where this leads. Where in the world am I? The fudge? Oh, I think we might there. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Scanning the ground to see your focus highlight, okay. Oh! Cool cast. Okay. Explosion. That would have been cool to see. Oh, just like that, it's gone. <laughs> that was quick. That did the trick. Oh, that guy's oh, attention. Where? Oh, there he is. Come at me, bro. Oh, shit! I can't tell you That looks so badass. I keep on doing that. Badder than that. So dead. We don't know that. She's so dead. Wow. Ye of little faith. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Kid? Okay. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Better let Corvin know his men are I found the two you mentioned. They're safe. 
but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I tried to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvand, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I, oh, that's such a good boss. I should have been stronger. Mm -hmm. You were there for your crew when they needed you. Exactly. That counts for something. Ulvan can yeah, threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Aww. Thank That's you, Huntress. His name keeps coming up. I'll see the last two and make it out. Good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. And that someone will be us. I wanna kill him. I can smell the food for some reason. I just... Yeah. <laughs> Aloy. Hey, Ray. Change your mind about... Come for that beer Fancy after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Fire and spit. Fire? What does the fire and spit mean? <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway. Right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Mm -hmm. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by. Convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Hmm. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Oh, That's so, so nice of her. In the daunt. <laughs> Eh. Where did they come from? That's the thing. Nasty. No one rightly knows. 
They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there was some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. <sighs> and people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Damn. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want nothing good. except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped <sighs> outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Oh no. Who is this Tolan? We're gonna fight Tolan. Just some just chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. It's like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolan works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Olvin might think so, but Tallinn scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Hmm. So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he yeah. end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So, he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. <gasps> oh, okay. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape <sighs> would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. I didn't think there would be like issues I'll like this in way. this game. I'll talk to the refugees. <laughs> what the Try heck? To them to move. Much I'm trying to get away from this. Have it rough. Nah, I'm kidding. Don't need but that's nice. It I mean, it's smart. Petra said Tolland has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have right. a word with him first. Sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows yeah. the loser's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Oh... Could you just not? I am with a customer. I 
I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba boom One shot kill, guaranteed. <sighs> uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? I'm interested! Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. Ah! She's well out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. <gasps> yeah, that. Okay. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real oh. innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. A bigger boom. That's so cool. Okay, I want to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to get a new weapon. So we have to do this first. Or... The horns, okay. We have to shoot off the horns. Canister will explode if I use a fire on it.
Nice, you got it. Sworn there was another horn. I can't find it. Did I get that one? I'm so sorry, I know you're trying to bring balance back to the earth, but I need your rib. <laughs> that wasn't the rib that I needed. I need this guy's rib. My bad. There's the fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. <laughs> going the other way. Oh, 
Dodging too early. Oh, Woo! We got it. Oh, hi. Nice. Got everything I need for Dylan Boomer. Now, to say about that weapon thing. Okay. New weapon time. Dude, I panicked a bit. I thought we were gonna die. <laughs> That's it, sorry. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has been. Let's go back. I'm excited for my new weapon. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? How do you know that you look? Go. You just met me. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Huh. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? <laughs> Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Probably. Can I have one? No! Aww. Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom <laughs> She's so sweet, she's so cute! Spike there was launch powerful projectiles that can hit enemies at long range. They have a slow rate of fire and cannot be used while jumping or crouching. Full draw. What about a rope cast? But ropes don't explode. Eyes up here, brother! Okay, which side quest next? Oh, let's do the bristle back one. It's near. It's nearer than the other one. <sighs> yeah, let's do the bristlebacks. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Savior, over here. Savior, thank you for taking the time. My condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. <laughs> that sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry but unless they have wings i don't know about i don't see how they could have come over the mountains no other way in the only way i know about is barren light look if you can get to the bottom of this i can offer a considerable bounty in return help me shut olvent up what is this concession decree that olvent wants he wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands he's to like a guy. He's, he's so greedy, exactly. Olvan. Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Mm. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? 
Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King, even with the valley working again. Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Asaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. <laughs> Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. Yep. That sounds like him. <sighs> not I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Before we do the side mission, I want to test out this new javelin. This is gonna be fun. Let's do it. Bro, this world is so beautiful! Oh shit, what the fudge? Close That's so freaking cool. Okay. Yeah. Look at the details in this game. Like the water looks so inviting, you know. 
Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Dead bristleback by the falls. Now check it out. Ooh. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Oh! <laughs> That's why I get away. I kind of don't want to kill it. I feel bad for it. <laughs> I'll stash this away for later. off the cliff above. I should keep going up the trail. Dang. Why do they keep killing themselves? I'm old mine. There are a lot of broken trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? Yeah. How? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. Oh, medicinal mushrooms. The old car tracks collapsed. It looks recent. I'm not going what that way. Heck? Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to die. I fell further than I thought. I thought I was going to make that jump. Maybe we could try that one more time. I feel like we could make that jump. If we just believe. No, not if we just believe. That thing again. It's that weird thing again. I don't like that thing. Ugh. Okay. Let's go back. Charge. Nice. I like that sound. Ring, ring. I can't, I think I, I I I could make that like a text tone. Can you make text tones in your iPhone? Cause I just use the one. Okay, let's just focus on this first. One thing at a time. Oh shit! Oh shit! Second half, I wouldn't say lower half, their whole second half of the body goes up in the air. It's <laughs> so cute. <gasps> oh. 
I need to stop eating pork. Well, it's not like I always eat pork, but just in general, I need to stop eating pork. to Oakland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oakland must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. My I God. should let Javad know what I found. Oh, that's so freaking greedy, dude. Like, he is literally the epitome of greed. Secretly blasting in the mine, trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? Hmm. Let's just get out of here first. I feel like it's a bacteria. Oh. Break in given. Cave in, that's the term. Is it raining? Oh my god, it's raining! Yeah, it's raining, that's so cool! I love the rain. <laughs>
was a close one. Still in this fight. the Twilight Karja Refugee. Okay, let me get my loot first. I love, I love looting. And they make it so satisfying with the sound effects as well. Well, I don't have to worry about running out. There's more loot here. Sorry! <laughs> Wait for me! Stuff for the stash. Kasha. Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. I like that. I'm sure about Bruised, that. but not buried. We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes, we know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. Oh, they're too annoying. How long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. What do we call people like this again? You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We'll not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savahar mm. will lead us there. Uh-huh. That There's an is... Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, 
But he's got friends. Yeah. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and... We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Yeah, I mean, what Your is priest, the plan here, Savoy. girl? You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. Mm -hmm. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger. What the heck was that? <laughs> you need to grab there. Severhar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Sabohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Hmm. Let the Nora pass. Let's find Savohar. Woo! Okay, let's do this. You know, since we're here, we might as well knock this one out, too. We need Savahar to lead us. We will guard the path until... Looks like I should head up. Okay. Oh, that's a long path. Ah, oh, there we go. So we go here. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. Oh. That's not recent. That's three days ago. <laughs> I'll save this for a dire. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Jump against the cliff. Ah, I see. Oh, nice. Okay. How to climb higher. Ladder must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. 
Oh, do we jump there? And Bro! <sighs> Broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. Oh, what's this? He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. Dude, this is so pretty! Look at the- Oh my god, look at the butterflies! That's so nice. It's so pretty. I like it, Picasso. I can kill them from this far. From this far. I like how I can kill them this far away. There we go. I really love this. all of them. Nice. Okay. As always, time to get the loot. <laughs> Shape. The true sun above me, the 
true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. Oh, the true my God. Sun I thought he would be younger. You must be Savahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> No. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a what? vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. Oh my god, he's killing himself. You're bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. My people so will find their home. Listen, Makasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think is going to happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is a hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Hmm. <laughs> I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will... Oh my god, I feel so uh, bad for him! I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter. Security. The true sun above me. The true sun for me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that stormbird. Grab its heart. How? Oh, do I? No, I can't jump. Well, no, let's try. go <laughs> physics a stormbird heart is valuable enough to feed all the refugees waiting below and his answer is sunstroke in a prayer why does every priest i meet think blind faith is the answer to everything hmm blame ted farrow blame ted farrow it's all ted farrow's fault that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. There. Nice, we got it! should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Nice. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Oh shit! 
Malet, Malet. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Let's go back up and get that loot. Drop ourselves. There we go. Find. Oh. I think I see. Yeah, I see some loot down there. It's just. Like a cat. Dude, there's so much loot here. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, I thought he was dead already. Savar? Oh, he's dead! I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. Oh. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. Damn. I just got... Oh, shit! Okay, we're good. Just <laughs> I did not think this through. <gasps> Look at my foot. I'm levitating a bit. Nice. Damn, that was I pretty was good. With the thugs. Get out of the way. No. Jen. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. Oh, look. The cards you love in Redhead with the fancy spear. Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Hmm. I want to be tough because he's you an sure asshole. You sure you want to do that, Tolland? You know who I am. What makes you think a single Osram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? <laughs> Hmm. Ah, blast it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Let's go! Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savalheart must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? 
Here. Please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. Aww. What the fuck? The chain scrape then. I feel so bad for them. Okay, um, let's head back to town and wrap up the Bristleback quest line. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. Go to Baron Light. Oh, we're not yet done. If I'm gonna find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head for the rest. Another reason to get the embassy going? Okay, are we all caught up now with the side quests? I think we are, because this is... All right, okay. So, since we're done with the side quests, that's the end of this episode. Um, one thing that I did notice, all of the side quests were so fun. Like, none of them was... None of them was a throwaway. Like, they didn't feel tedious. They didn't feel like they were just put in there for the sake of putting them in there. And they were connected. They were all connected to the main story, which I really like. I, this is fun. Like, honestly, I've been thinking that, you know, if I wasn't a streamer, if I wasn't doing anything else, and I just had a 9 to 5 job, like, this is a game I'd love to play as soon as I get home and just relax. You know what I mean? Well, maybe not relax because it can be challenging sometimes, but it's a fun game, and I really like it. And even the story itself was mind blowing. <sighs> okay. Uh,. I'm gonna end it here. Next episode, um, I'm just gonna do the main storyline. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you guys did, do let me know by leaving a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.